My name is Indira Wiegand, and um, I am an uninsured artist. I, I really can't afford a monthly payment plan of any sort. Uh, my income is really fluctuates month to month. It's scary. It's scary. I mean, you live in this big city, you cross the street every day. It's like, um, it's scary. The concept of the artist who doesn't have health insurance is nothing new. It's, it, you know, the struggling artist is something that's been around for a very long time. This was a way to bring them into the hospital and offer them health care and an affordable price and in exchange bring their talents into the hospital and use them here for both staff and client purposes. Cute. Yeah. You that one? Yeah. Artist Access is a barter for service healthcare program offered by Brooklyn's Woodhull Medical Center. Under the rules of the program, uninsured freelancers like Indira donate their time and skills to the hospital in exchange for medical services. The artists are paid on an hourly basis in what Woodhull calls health credits. Although agreements vary, most artists earn the equivalent of two free medical or dental appointments for every hour that they work. Most workers in the U.S. receive health insurance through their employers. Freelancers who work for a variety of employers on a project-by-project -project basis have to seek out insurance on their own. The options are limited and expensive. Me again. For Indira, buying a basic health insurance plan would mean spending at least a quarter of her taxable income on monthly premiums. It would be nice for my uh, prescriptions. Like I, I have asthma. And at this point, it cost me $200 a month for that medication. $200 for one inhaler. In New York State alone, 2.7 million people are uninsured. This amounts to about 14% of the state's overall population. Okay, this is called Good Night Moon. Many of those without insurance are freelancers, who, according to national statistics, are twice as likely as other workers to be uninsured. Here's a big one. Okay, this will be easier. For me. That's a big one. My name is Marisa Bo. Um, I'm a writer, editor, but mostly an editor of documentary first-person interviews with people around the United States. Um, and I'm here because um, I don't earn a lot of money doing that. Marisa is a productive member of society by any measure. Her first book, Gig, Americans Talk About Their Jobs, met with near universal acclaim when it came out in 2000 and was even named as one of the best business books of the year by the Harvard Business Review. Before she dropped her insurance policy, 20% of her earnings went to health care premiums. Unless I were to completely change my focus, I couldn't really earn enough money to pay for health insurance. Everyone I know who does what I do is kind of in the same position, wondering, should we go to community college and learn how to become health techs or welders or something? Marisa currently reads to pediatric patients to pay for her medical expenses. I need to get my skin looked at like every six months because I've had precancerous uh, areas and I get that taken done. I get my eyes checked. I have um, gynecological checkups. It's great. It's great. I've never, you know, I've gotten everything that I wanted to have taken care of. I've had it taken care of. I have artists who are shocked. What's the catch? What's the deal? What, where, where, what are you not telling me? Where's the contract? And it really is just to offer them a way to come in and get treated. But if you think about it, we have artists who are giving hours of their time. Um, we've had permanent murals painted on the walls, five of them within the past year, and that's all the in-kind exchange. How much would the hospital pay for an artist to come in and put their work permanently on our walls? Um, so it really is beneficial on both ends. One of the reasons Woodhull can experiment with programs like Artist Access is that it's part of New York City's publicly financed Health and Hospitals Corporation. Unlike many hospitals in the country, Woodhull is not a privately owned for-profit institution. Serving the needs of the local community is inherent in Woodhull's mission, and the local community is changing. Artists and writers are drawn to the neighborhoods around Woodhull for their low rental prices and proximity to Lower Manhattan. Since the program launched, more than 600 freelancers of all ages have signed up for Artist Access. Clear evidence that insurance is a problem among the self-employed. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. But will the particulars of Obama's health care reform ameliorate any of the problems that, that made this necessary? I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, what's happening now on a day-to-day -day basis is there's a certain need for this. In truth, there's not much evidence that the recent health care bill passed through Congress will lower the price of anyone's health insurance. 
The bill contains provisions pertaining to access, like the ban on denying coverage to people with pre-existing conditions, but contains no definitive price control measures. It's a system weighted towards the rich. You know, the rich can get coverage, so um, hopefully institutions like this will continue to exist, if not grow, to cover everybody.